Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again with a G.I. Joe Retro Collection review. I think it's the first time I will open and review uh, any product from the G.I. Joe Retro line. I have done, you know, like mail calls and things like that, but it's the first time I'll be actually opening one of these well, figure and vehicle. And yeah, here you have images of the Cobra Fang, product images or shots, whatever, with the pilot named Gyrocopter Pilot. It doesn't seem to have a specific name. Sorry, let me focus there. Uh, you can pause the video now if you want to read the specifics, or I can read it for you. It says Roll Gyrocopter Pilot. Primary specialty aerial combat, secondary specialty hand to hand, birthplace various countries. Cobra air troopers are basic infantry or grunts with wings. Like ravenous mosquitoes on a summer's night, they suit down their targets. Very nice description. <laughs> anyway, uh, here you have the website gijoe.com. I have to check that myself and lot of lots of legal information this is the side of the box it has a classic cobra enemy thing there logo and like alarming situation you know and all the sides show the G.I. Joe logo at least we have this amazing artwork which is I don't know if it's the same as the original one, I would say yes, or at least very reminiscent of that, but I think it might be the very original artwork from the first release. And there you have the window where you, you can see the included figure, the Cobra Fang pilot, and that's actually it for the box, so let's take this out and open the packaging and yes also i decided to open it because it got smashed and well i just got one for now at least and i'll be opening it here with you so let's see what we got in the box first of all you have this uh, legal stuff like warning and all of that choking hazard small parts for children or under three we have the little instruction sheet which i guess i'm not sure i don't remember anymore it would be similar or the same style as the old ones and yeah we have the decal sheet as well and i won't be doing that on video because or in video because it would take eternities so I'll have to do that myself later and s show you the results. And here we have the figure with a bit more flight and visibility. It's a pilot. It's also one of the reasons I wanted to get this because I like the design of this trooper. And inside we get the actual Cobra Fang with a torpedo and four missiles or rockets or whatever and it's chopper wings or I don't have the name for that right now so let's well uh, you know what I'll pop everything out and I'll continue in a second otherwise it will take forever so these are the actual contents of the box is the Cobra Fang pilot which comes with a little gun in the holster you have the, you get the cobra fang the uh, the wings here the i forgot the word <laughs> you get the little torpedo or bomb or whatever it's called and four missiles or rockets and yeah of course you get the decals and the instructions where to put everything well, especially the decals. Let's go over the detail of the Cobra Fang. You can see it has, well, I just realized that it's like a, 
obviously like a snake head and it has actual fangs here molded on the front of the thing it has this ball thing for the little cannon laser cannon of course we're talking about GI Joe it has like the eyes the fangs and the open mouth it has this the landing gear or sleds you can see the machinery or motor or ro yeah, of the thing and the actual tail which has this little thing that actually rolls man i forgot the word for <laughs> the helicopter thing you know the rotor but the, i forgot the name of these flaps anyway <coughs> And then I think it's just about, you can see inside of there, like I should click that according to that uh, line in the inside, maybe. Let's see what happens. Hmm, is it gonna be a tight fit, tight fit? Let's see. It seems like it's going to be very very tight anyway let's do this so that made click so we have the rotor the bomb just goes into these pegs it has two peg holes there and the four little missile uh, rockets where do they go Ah yes, they have the pegs here on the landing gear. So you can see the, the missiles have these peg holes in the back and the front and you just put them on this and this on both sides of the little chopper. Just be careful not to bend anything or to yeah to break or snap any peg or thing so that would be the fan all assembled it's just a little individual helicopter now let's go on to the figure I'll put the decals later on here we have the fan pilot he comes with this little helmet and this handgun or sidearm or pistol which goes into the holster here he comes like this out of the packaging and it was it's good that he has at least that weapon I mean he has also another little pistol on the vest but that's just decoration you cannot take that out now about the figure itself he you can see he has well, a bit of paint went all over the place there but I checked at least I wanted to have the full visor painted and not any... I mean I wanted to have silver filling the place but it went a bit, a bit all over it uh, it spilled a bit outside even back here on the mask so you can see his hair shape or haircut well the, you can see that the paint job there is a bit sloppy but it's okay we're not here for the neck um, he can look up that much look down just that much you can detach the breathing device here so you can turn the head that much before it gets obstructed and that much to the side the vest is not removable if you would like to remove it you would have to cut it open you know like break it or maybe you can hit the figure and pop the upper part i don't know i won't do that myself so it's up to you <laughs> the arms can go all the way around they can bend up that much actually maybe a bit more but yeah over 90 degrees 
uh, he has no bicep swivel but it's he the bicep swivel is here on, here on the elbow it can go all the way around this uh, to bend the forearm just be sure to grab there and don't force things just be careful that you always apply pressure towards the upper arm arm so that you don't twist the the actual peg that goes in the upper arm because then you could snap the figure the hands have up and down movement which is perfect he has both hands with trigger fingers so you can use the gun in whichever hand you prefer or other guns you have at your place I don't know he the wrists can go all the way around and up, up and down in both hands as I just said he has some diaphragm movement yeah but he has a vest and that impedes full usage of it nothing at the waist and you have the best with more detail you can see it has a lot of texture and all, all the detail a real vest would have the legs he can do let's say the full splits easily the T thing for the hips is plastic is not metal as in the old Joe's so it might be more durable or less durable I don't know it's up to you just be careful the pegs for the legs are not super thick as you can see so you just have to be careful with the figure he has thigh rotation he has double jointed knees that can go that far it's more than enough can go all the way to his butt but it's fine he has boot cut which is I don't know how often we get that for 3.75 figures is the first Joe on this scale I open on the retro way uh, yeah line the feet can go that much to the back which is more than enough and just a little bit to the front but it's also maybe all what you will need and he has a decent ankle pivot for the scale I would say could be better maybe yes but, uh, but it's some don't have any ankle pivot at all so that's a win already uh, so it's good and he can kick 90 degrees to the front without any twisting or help you know so I would say the figure is really cool and with the helmet on you just put it like you just put it on you know it's no science but you can drop it very easily I think you have to I mean it's like this if you put it a bit more to the back or something it will just drop really easily so you just have to adjust it in the front part like that's where it gets tight now to get him on the vehicle he the, the fang has actual holes there for his legs and it seems like you just shove him in or so uh, yes let's put him in there hmm maybe a little help with the feet put them in position somehow or maybe I'll have to bend the knees a bit anyway let me do that off camera and I'll control so, there you have the Cobra Fang with the pilot mounted on and ready for for battle you know oh one missile just dropped hmm. anyway this will take time so there you have it and he looks cool
cool on his mini individual little copter and it's ready for battle so now I just have to stick all these things to it but before I do that let's just bring in the Warthog from Halo you know for size comparisons which is which has much more mass to it and actually it's if we take that as a yeah measurement this is much better priced than this because here you get a little wonky copter but if we bring the Cobra his tank again it's you get much more plastic I don't know how much I mean how they are priced in comparison if the his tank is the same price is gonna be the same price as the Fang I hope I mean I would say they should be a different price anyway so we are starting to get a bit more Cobra uh, army here let's see if we can fit well, first of all let's see how they compare in size an older Joe with a retro Joe figure do they scale not quite the fang trooper seems to be significantly taller or not maybe they are the same size no 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 the fang trooper is taller than this laser viper or whatever viper he is or than the Or than the his driver, he's also, I bet, not in the same scale as the. Well, he's the same scale, yeah, but uh, let's see how he fits with. Uh, the Master Chief Master Chief is still much taller let's see how this is with the UNSC Marine and yes they are close but the his tank uh, his the, the fan trooper is taller it's just like that so let me get all the decals in place and continue with this so and as promised here is the cobra fang all decaled up there is well, plenty of decals they're not as easy to put in as i would like to because the the little instructions don't include any textures like the rivets here or this here so i have to accommodate this one differently as suggested because i didn't want it to be floating on these gaps or you know something like this to happen like with the cobra logo here i will have to live with that but it's also part of the retro flavor i would say yeah and i missed the site for these missiles and yeah that's something you cannot fix anymore so there's the little copter if you like this video please subscribe to the channel leave a like and see you in the next one ciao ciao ciao